In this video we're going to resize our images using an offline bulk image converter. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are building websites for your clients or for yourself, you should always convert your images before uploading them. Yes, there are plugins that can resize your images and compress them, but you should always do something like that offline so you don't use your server resources and of course you have better control and better results. So we're going to see an easy way to resize our images and we're going to use the X and convert. This program can be installed in Windows, Mac OS and Linux as you can see here. So go ahead and visit the website. I will put the link in the description below and you can download this program. Now this also support WebP images. So if you want to do that to convert to WebP, you can go ahead and use the same program or you can use this just to convert your JPEG files into a smaller image. Now about WebP, not all browsers at this time support WebP. And as you will see up here, it says 94.8 support natively the WebP images. And in case you're wondering what is this 3.5, it's for the yellow boxes. And those say that they do not support uh, animated WebP and not support lossless or alpha. And I don't think that you're going to convert to WebP animated images, so you're okay with that. But you should know that not every uh, browser support this. So if you go and check, you will find that Internet Explorer in version 11 doesn't support this WebP. The Edge in versions 12 to 17, Firefox to, to 64, and you can see the graphics. Uh, for me, I think that 94 is a safe number, so not many people are using uh, old browsers, so you can safely convert your images to WebP. If you don't want to do that, just convert it to lower size uh, of JPEG image and use a plugin that will convert to WebP. And if the browser that uh, your visitor uh, supports WebP, it will serve the WebP version or else it will serve the JPEG version or PNG. Okay, so uh, let's go to the program that we're going to use. I'm going to open that and this is the X and convert. If you go to input here, you can uh, add your files. You can do that by dragging and dropping your files directly into here or selecting add files or folders depending on what you have to add. So I'm going to add all those files. And once I click open, I can see the list here. I can select the small thumbnails, thumbnails or big thumbnails. And then you have the list where you can see other things except for the image. So you can see the size, you can see the properties where this is the uh, size of the image in pixels. And as you can see, this is the width, the height and the DPI. This is the extension, so all of those are JPEG. Let's go to the next tab, which is the actions. And here we're going to add two actions for us to resize the images. So the first action is let's click add let's go to image and then we're going into the resize after that i'm going to select the mode to be the width i usually download big images from the web and as you can see these images are way too big let's click here properties and you will see in the details that this is 6000 pixels in width so i'm going to reduce that and i'm going to select here to be 1600 this is the usually width that I set. Keep in mind that it will keep the aspect ratio, so it will reduce the width accordingly. After that, we can select add action again. Let's go to image again, and then we're going to click the set DPI. Now, those images that I have downloaded are 300 DPI. 300 DPI are great for printing an image, but are way too big for using in the web. So I can go here and select 72, and 72. After that, I can go into the next tab, which is the output. Here I have the source folder so I can convert the image and then save them in the same folder as the source uh, image, or I can select a folder and add them to another folder. After that, I can select the file name. As you can see, it will keep the file name and it will add the result at the end, or you can go click and select something like that and select uh, something different keep the uh, pound symbols here so they will be replaced by a number and replace the image with a name so you can uh, put here the name of the website or something different 
After that, we can go into the right that says format and here we're going to select the format that we're going to save. If you want to save as WebP image, you can select here WebP or you can select the JPEG and save those files in JPEG format. As you can see, it also supports JPEG 2000 format, which is great. And that is what Google asks for us. If we don't save the WebP, then just save to JPEG 2000. Now I'm going to select the WebP for me. And if you want, you can also save that settings as a preset. Now keep in mind that those actions and the output settings here will be kept no matter how many times you will close and open the program. So you can just set it once and for every image that you add, it will keep those settings. But if you constantly uh, want to reduce to different sizes, you can just have some presets here, save them and then go ahead, click here and open your preset that you have. So it's a very quickly way to add your settings and upload them every time. After that, you just click convert here and it will take depending on the image sizes or computer and how strong it is, how fast it is and you will get the result after that. So as you can see, I'm ready and here I am. So now I have the images in a WebP format. Let's refresh one more time. Okay, and now as you can see, this is the image and if I click here, it's 799 megapixels, uh, sorry, megabytes. And if I click to the image 0 0.4, I will see that it is 142 kilobytes in size. If I right click here, right click and select properties. I will see in the details that it's 1600 pixels the width and the resolution is 72. Now if I open that in another browser and keep in mind that not every browser support the WebP to view that so right click open with uh, fast tone image viewer or something different what you have to view those images so this is the image that it's compressed at this moment and if I go now and open the same image let's do that and open that as well okay so this is the image that it's not compressed and this is the image that is compressed and for the size that it's taking the one uh, the 143 kilobytes this is a great result as you can see of course not all images have to go to 1600 pixels in width and these are more for the images that you want to put as a hero section or you want to set as a big image inside your website across the whole website from the beginning of the page till the end of the page if you just want to upload an image for a product or something you can go uh, up to 900 pixels in width and it will be great it will look great you don't have to resize every image uh, into 100 1600 pixels so that was all for the program. I hope you like it and please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.